Hello Taurus, this is Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August. I've already pre-pulled these because they're in depth, so I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way. We have Asherah, Mother of the Gods, number 20, and the Goddess Circle. A lot of goddess, god energy going on already. This is the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Change. Okay, that's number 10. You guys in numerology have at that. But I know anything ending with zero is divine protection. Okay, I think it would break down to, I guess, a two. D don't quote me on that. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <coughs> let's go with the <coughs> Ashra, mother of the gods. Okay, she was the ancient divine feminine goddess, mother of the gods, whom the ancients worshipped as the queen of heaven. When she shows up at a reading, you need to consider matters involving your mother, your home, and your family tree. Not everyone has a nurturing and healthy experience with maternal energy in their life. So if this applies, the shadow around this can feel difficult. Issues of fertility and children can arise, and it's time to face what has been hiding beneath the surface. You also can be changing your home, renovating or taking part in ancestral healing through a spiritual modality. She was the queen consort of the Supreme God. She was worshipped alongside, I think that's L, but ultimately her presence led to suppression when patriar patriarchally based took hold. It's another example of how powerful dark divine feminine figures have been demonized by male dominated religious patriarchy. She was considered evil, a false god that one should not worship for fear of punishment. Men were supposed to lead the church with women as subservient and silent. We don't do that around here. By the way, I am Brandy the Shadow Worker. If you are new, these I do pull. I did not premeditate today. Usually I do. Pretty much just winging it and pull these. Already digging it though. Uh, you can go to my site, ToriAndI.com. And get on the calendar it's only a two-hour gap between your readings okay anyways <clears throat> even the demonized Queen Jezebel worshipped Asherah having dedicated pagan rituals and ceremonies to the Queen Goddess not only was she a goddess and deity Asherah was also the name for sacred ceremony poles trees used at ancient pagan altars it is theorized that there were used, they were used to worship and venerate the goddess. They were typically used in pagan practices, but were later banned and demonized by the religious patriarchy. So the message is to nurture yourself, heal, and tap into the wisdom of the supreme goddess. That doesn't mean get a partner and give all their energy, folks. Okay, it's meaning to take a step back because people are trying to demonize you right now. They're trying to make you feel suppress they're trying to make you feel small and you're not small man or female whatever you identify with okay Whew, there is a season for everything and this is yours if you haven't already received the good news it is on its way and it's safe to celebrate you deserve it and those are small wins too folks okay don't disregard those don't question the joy do not wait for the other shoe to drop Rejoice, beautiful, you are the moment. This is your time. Positive changes is on the way. Expansion, evolution, revolution, and be open to change. It's a great season to let go of the past and take a big risk. The memory is the powerful Egyptian goddess. The African goddess, and goddess rising. I can't say all those names. <laughs> Showed up for this circle. Their unified power creates a portal of unlimited choices and transformations. The medicine is the wheel of fortune. It keeps turning. For some of your ancestors, it was difficult to feel joy for joy's sake. Heal their energy by celebrating yours now. Learn what it feels like to re revel in joy, pleasure, and fun just for the sake of it. The aspect of the shadow. Obstacle after obstacle. Setbacks. Mixed fortune. Bad luck. Things have not been going your way. Take a breath. Don't make any sudden movements. The fates have not been on your side, but know that this will pass. So if you've been feeling helpless, it's going to pass, okay? And it's like your declaration to say is, I am a winner, baby. But all of this is it's your time to shine, friend. 
your time to shine, but your time to heal just as much. So if you've been in the realm of escapism, because life's been too hard, it is about setting proper boundaries for yourself in order to heal, taking the uh, time needed to get yourself set straight back, right? Things are hard sometimes to do when you have so many responsibilities and you're just trying to get through the day-to-day -day task. Um, but it is about taking time for you, whether that's in the bath, um, five minutes of music, or whatever you need to do in order to get your mind right, to get on the right track. And I feel like by the middle of this month, it's almost like spirit led you to something. Yeah, something you were definitely counting, waiting, wishing with the seven of pentacles showing up. Okay. Almost like I have just enough to pay this bill. You know, like I know something's coming. But that's also nurturing a life inside of you. It's like knowing whatever you've been doing, it's coming. Having that intuition. The Ten of Cups, yet again a pregnant belly. Congratulations out there. To someone, you need to make sure your home, your heart, your health is all good, not other people's. You're literally, like, whether you got a kid on the way or a business or you're trying to save your money, something in that regard, it is coming. You can feel it. Your intuition is here. They are granting that to you. Maybe someone downplayed it. Maybe someone made you feel as if, you know, that dream was stupid and you're going to prove, you're going to prove it to them. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Tower, okay? Yeah, I think it's like you felt it coming. It doesn't really come in a message from someone else. It feels internal. And while <sighs> something has to be sacrificed in order to get the new opportunity. And if you do not sacrifice an old way, like, because you can't have, you can't have the old to have the new, right? You got to blend them. This is not being sporadic. This is knowing that something is going to cave and um, there, you know, some message or whatever from one of those naysayers maybe comes in and you just disregard it and it blows their mind and you keep doing this, right? Four of Cups. The Sun, August. The Chariot in Reverse. Alright, friend. <clears throat> so, someone's been in a, a bad place. And you may not recognize this opportunity when it shows up. That moment. That moment when it shows up. Because you don't want it to be, you don't want to be led astray again. There's, there's a lot of, I had that hope and I don't think I can rely on that anymore here. Because some, someone out there is lacking direction. Feeling like you lack the focus, the control, the drive. Like this isn't the time. There's too many challenges, you know, setbacks. I've made this poor decision before. Like you got some burnout. Burnout. Okay. Uh, someone, you know, you could be in a dispute, a litigation. You don't feel, again, you don't feel this, this is time. They're saying this is most definitely time. This is the, this is the time. Life does not stop. Life never stops. You're always going to face some type of set setback, some type of feeling a loss of control, right? And this is hesitating. You're holding back from taking control of your life for various reasons that you've put there. I hear you, Spirit. For various reasons. And they are literally trying to bring you back into balance, okay? 
and even though you feel hesitation, you don't want to make the wrong choice, you know, you have that desire, you know, you're going to have imbalance, you're going to have conflicts, especially in relationships or even with bosses if you plan on leaving. They're going to try to pull you back in, you're going to think, oh, I don't want to lose out, you know, I don't want to sacrifice my, my money, I don't want to sacrifice too much. There's a sacrifice that has to be made, like I just said before I got this of the old to bring in the new. Now you don't have to dispose the old, but you do need to blend it, okay? The financial, it's like you need to be cautious about your financial decisions, especially if you do lack the information to make wise choices, but you gotta get the information to make a wise choice. You can't just not do it. You have to get what you can, you know? It, you are avoiding impulsive spending. That's cool, good for you. I've tried myself, so it's just, introspection, self-awareness, personal growth, personal growth, tables turning, you know what I mean? Tables turning. But don't be hesitant in taking the control of your life. Don't let those outside issues hold you back because from what I'm feeling here, those outside issues weren't yours. You just got to take responsibility for your own, right? And it's like that inner resistance like you've wanted it, I feel like you've manifested it like as a, as above, so below, so below as above, uh, so within, so without. You know what I mean? I think I said that right. But um, that's what this is. And it's like a lot of shit is out of balance and you have to work to correct it, okay? And I think that's been an ongoing theme like your whole life. This is actually, so my numerology number without going into detail, I am the Wheel of Fortune. I am the Magician. Um, what else? The Hierophant. I'm like three. I'm three things for the numerology. My life is constantly up and down, up and down. I have to take what dismantled from the tower, destruction, and breed something new from it. With the old knowledge I have, pairing it with the new knowledge after I regain my composure, after I get the little bit of information I need to hit the ground running, okay? I don't do it until I've perfected it. I get what I need and I start rolling with it and I learn hands on. I learn from those mistakes, you know what I mean? I feel like I have to tell someone that. That's how you're going to take control and not let those outside people, forces, news, information, whatever hold you down and suppress you anymore or try to make you feel bad for what you're doing because that's what I have here. Get rid of that person for making you feel evil for doing the right thing. That's what I want to say. For doing the right thing. Not a selfish egoistic thing. For doing the right thing. Okay? Because they've made you lack ambition, your focus, your drive. You have an excess of it. You are a Taurus in some way, form or fashion. Okay? So don't let them rob you of having that control with your life's direction. Okay? People are always going to talk. People are always going to talk, aren't ya? Aren't ya, folks? I have my stalkers on here to see a whole county. Hey, Prince. Look at that, as I say. The devil. And I want to say the devil in this round, whether you're dealing with Capricorn or whatever. I mean, you could literally be dealing with an Aries, a Capricorn. Uh fire sign in general. This is about taking the time to really nourish yourself and enjoy the things like it's set up here. Enjoy the things that maybe made you feel guilty for like not like if you just constant drive drive I gotta get through this I gotta get through this I gotta get through this this day this day this day this day you are well, excessively doing that in a bad pattern, or you could take three or four days and really live it up and enjoy that, like the goddess, to take care of yourself. That's what I feel with this one. That way you can get the direction and the motivation you need back, where you're not at a standstill, okay? Because I feel it's a, someone else has led you astray and really fogged your brain, therefore you've not, and it could be a lot of medication, but you've not been able to heal, you've not been able to see. Like what the things is you need to do. Here you are the higher font. That is a relationship. That is a structured institution. Okay. The moon. So, oh my god. I would like to say Pisces and Taurus here. Capricorn. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mainly Pisces and Cancer, though, when I get this, for me. It is that I like structure, but I also like to rebel, okay? I like to learn the rules before I break them. <laughs> so I really feel like this is you taking the time to learn the rules in order to be able to break them, okay? What is all over me from this thing? I guess it's almost like a color, a hair color. What is up? That's literally staining my damn hand. What is that? Sorry, folks. <laughs> I have been cleaning. But this looks like a... I mean, I went outside, but... Uh, anyways. <clears throat> anyways, <coughs> this is giving... <clears throat> I can't. I'm not supposed to get that out. It's like confusion clouding your spiritual wisdom. You see the devil and moon surrounding the Hierophant, which is you. Okay, so that is confusion from outside influences trying to shroud your spiritual wisdom. Okay, is the influence and trying to twist your concept, uh, your, your spirituality or how you traditionally handle things against you in a negative way. Okay, and they're trying to replace your spirituality with inner turmoil, feeling bad, therefore you cannot heal and you cannot help others heal. You know, I mean, you cannot see the path. So as long as you know who you are and what's important to you, nothing and nobody will be able to take that away. And that's what Spirit's trying to bring back into your life. But it's almost like this haze and days and they're trying to shine the, the light over here. Right? The sun, the moon, complete opposites. So, I mean, this is like those influences are bringing out your shadow, which, of course, we're all going through that until like the 12th of October, just so you know. To reevaluate. Like you've been holding on to certain beliefs or people for some time and you believe like this situation or this relationship was just gonna be what it was. You know? And you're reconsidering old choices that have already played their part. And they're they're trying to force you to face those uncomfortable truths. So it's not gonna be easy. You have to brace yourself, right? And it's gonna be worth it, which is a sacrifice where you discover that changes your life. It changes your life, changes the direction, changes your luck. Okay? That was a nice reading. That was a nice reading, folks. That's by, like, August uh, 14th through the 20th of what I'm getting for certain. And so almost like you felt that change here in this last July. You could feel it, but you could also feel those shadow aspects coming out like really trying to come out and it's like you could be partnering with someone else for a um, race you could be letting go of old partners that you like you said you believe that it was fine the way it was or it wasn't going to change but then you would see that devil suppressing you making you feel comfortable in this hell and you should just keep that old choice and spirits like no friends that's what we're not gonna do anymore okay and that my friend Taurus fellow Taurians is this message and this is beautiful but chaos first chaos to wake you up out of this daydream they have put you in all right make sure you leave a comment I'll catch you later